Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 1, Episode 6, Q-less. So this is the third chapter in the story of Vosh. So we saw her, we first introduced her in um, The Captain's Holiday, where Picard met her, and then we met her in Cupid, where um, she returns to the Enterprise, and Q, by the end of the episode, basically whisks her away to give her like everything she's ever dreamt of. And what's kind of interesting is when this episode aired, like, uh, what was it, Q? So we'd, we'd already seen an episode with Q between Cupid and this one. And then the week after this episode aired, uh, the episode Tapestry came out. So it's just kind of an interesting, like, Vash returning. Um, this, now, I've said it before, like, Q is always one of those hit and miss characters. Some people absolutely love him, some people hate him. He is my number one favorite character in all of Star Trek. So I'm a little bit sad that he never returns in Deep Space Nine. He does come into like three episodes of Voyager, but I thought he, it, I think it would have been interesting to see him pop up more in Deep Space Nine. Maybe not as often as he did in The Next Generation, because I think he was in like eight episodes total or something. Um, but I think it would have still been interesting just to see kind of his, the way he interacts with Cisco, because Cisco is a much more hard commander than Picard was and they there's some lines about that where like Q just gets upset because there's no like verbal debate there's no like insults there's nothing going on and then there's the really cheesy boxing scene and Cisco just lays into Q and he's like Picard would never have hit me and Cisco says well I'm not Picard so it's just that reestablishing that this is not the Enterprise this is not the next generation this is different and I liked that, and that's why I kind of wish we would have seen more of Q in Deep Space Nine. So overall, I think this is a fun episode. It's an interesting episode. I like how Q wears his Next Generation outfit through the first, like, half of the episode. And part of me wonders if John Delancey actually has, like, his own outfit that they custom made just for him. But then he switches it back into the Deep Space Nine, where it's now the color on top and the black on the bottom. My cat's, like, messing with my camera. Um, so I watched like an interview about this episode on the DVDs and stuff and it was kind of fun. The actress that plays Vosh talks about like the scene where Q is like, do you remember that insect bite? That's what you would have looked like. And like she said, like she would go through hours of makeup just for like three seconds of screen time. And we just see all of these ailments that she had been exposed to, but Q had saved her, just infecting her more and more and more. Um, I like uh, O'Brien basically is kind of that middleman where he brings up Q over and over again about he mentions the captain's holiday and he mentions the Cupid stuff where with um, the the Robin Hood going on um, and it's kind of funny when Q finally sees him he's like weren't you one of the little people and it's kind of a dig at Call of Meany. I mean that's why they gave him the role on this show because he was so good in the next generation and they felt like they were undermining him just keeping him in the transporter bay the whole time. Overall, it's kind of a, a good Star Trek episode in general. When Vosh gets back from the Gamma Quadrant, she has all these artifacts. She teams up with Quark to start selling them in an auction. And we see Deep Space Nine moving, getting pulled in to the Gamma Quadrant wormhole, which I think this is the first time we've seen the station actually move. And then of course at the end, the most valuable part that they're trying to sell ends up almost being like an egg or something. It's this alien life form that they beam away and then it flies back to the Gamma Quadrant and everything's back to the way it should be. Overall, I think this is a good episode. I don't think it's great, but I think it's a good episode. I mean, we're six episodes in. Deep Space Nine is still trying to figure out exactly what it wants to do with what characters. But overall, I, I think they're moving in the right direction. I think considering like the first season of The Next Generation compared to the first season of Deep Space Nine, I feel like Deep Space Nine had a better grasp of what they wanted to do. And this kind of shows that. So for those who have seen this one, would you guys want to have seen more Q or are you good with the one or do you wish like they'd never brought him over at all? Um, go ahead, And what did you guys think about Vash? Again, do you like that she got a third chapter basically closing her story or do you wish they would have just let it go? Go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys next time for Dax.